we've centered this uh, today around LinkedIn and uh, resume workshopping in particular. And so we come at it from two sides, one being the B2B sales side, and then one being the getting a job, you know, using LinkedIn uh, to get a job and then brushing up on your resume. So, so just starting with the why, um, we work with the company um, Gartner and they help us with B2B research. And so they have, have surveyed a number of companies and found that 78% of customers who are begin their buying process with informal online research um, in a B2B buying scenario. Um, and that they are 57% of the way through their buying process when they engage a supplier, um, like DPR in my instance, um, and your firm, um, you know, uh, uh, yeah, so they're already through here. They're through the learning stage. They're through the defining their, their needs, and now they're assessing their options. Um, so we need to focus on how do we get in here at the learning and defining needs uh, portion and teaching, and what does is, what is teaching look like, and how do, we, how do we do that, and how do they find us online, right? Um, so for us, the strategy is around creating thought pieces that we can give to our, our clients, um, either um, in a blast scenario via LinkedIn when there's something that um, is in a timely way, um, or in a, in a custom kind of like sending an email, like, I thought you'd be interested in this based on what you are doing, XYZ thing. Um, and so the thought piece can be a research uh, piece, an article, a case study. Um, it can be something you generate. It can be something you find. Like if you're doing research on a, a company and you know that that there's you know something that they is part of their um, their process that might be useful. Um, you know you could find that other thought piece and send to them. I thought of you when I um, you know when I saw this that kind of thing. Um, and so a thought piece can be anything from a blog post to a press release to um, a, an event, a presentation, um, a webinar, a podcast, um, and then using your, your, social, uh, your social channels. Um, we are at a level where we pay for some sort of organization on our end of, of how to um, make sure we, we kind of um, are, make a coordinated effort not, you know, it's a, that, that kind of level doesn't necessarily make sense, but we will get into um, what that looks like for, for us and we'll, some tips and tricks for how to, how to come across uh, as, you know, a brand that people will trust on LinkedIn. And I should preface this also with, we're focusing on LinkedIn because that is the absolute primary vehicle for social media in the working world. Um, you know, I'm sure there are some businesses where it makes sense to be on Facebook, um, you know, more like B2C businesses, but for B2B, you have to be um, on LinkedIn. 81% um, of buyers are more likely to engage with a strong professional brand. Um, but, you, you know, again, to your point, you know, you know, that, that the people that you know are obviously going to be the best, right? The, the warmest, uh, most, have, give you the most traction interesting when we were putting this together it's like you know the things that we say to do to our for our people internally for the b2b side is the same thing that allison would say you know for the getting the job side so um i think it works well for both i will also say i was looking at linkedin yesterday and we track who's winning uh across the country with engagements and allison was number one <laughs> yesterday i was number 23 so she's better than me so if she you know we conflict believe her no, I'm just an influencer. That's, that's all. It's fine. <laughs> so we're going to focus in on three main steps today. Um, create a professional brand, build strong relationships, and engage with insights. So who would you hire? This nameless, faceless person or this person with a nice background photo, a headshot, you know, um, a full summary, rich media down here at the videos. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and guess Christy. If anyone wants to hire Rocky, you can take it up with me later. Um, build, when you're building your profile, try to include as many connection uh, points as possible. Um, so, you know, 
your high school, if it makes sense, your, um, your veteran uh, network, uh, or, you know, just anything that you can put in there that, that people will say, you know, like, oh, I have that, um, you know, I can, I can relate to that. I, I was part of that organization or whatever. Um, add multimedia and cover photo. Um, they have done research where the, you know, if you, um, the eye uh, is drawn to the cover photo, there's something that legitimizes you somehow when you have that in there. Um, and LinkedIn has the money to do all that kind of research. So just take my word for it, um, put, in, put in photos. Um, showcase your skills, and Allison has some more um, thoughts on, on the skills portion that as relates to veterans. And so share your professional knowledge um, as we were talking about a link uh, or thoughtful content, but don't spam people because that will have the opposite effect. Right. Um, so on the profile photo, um, it is best to have a professional headshot if you can, you know, as professional as you can be. These are not as lovely as your family is, as lovely as your water polo situation is. Um, try to keep it um, professional. At, on LinkedIn and save those other photos for Facebook. Um, this is what I was saying about the, um, the background shot. Um, there's just something uh, legitimizing about that wide eye-catching shot and it's a really easy uh, thing to add in there, hopefully as relates to whatever you, your business is or your skill set is. Um, a professional headline, so your title, your company, and how you add value. Um, so, for instance, Chris, Christy says client relations enhancing the relationship between DPR and our clients to ensure expectations are exceeded. So, you know, it can be a full sentence. It can be much shorter, uh, depending on what you um, want to say. And I think that it would be great to workshop today if anybody has, you know, wants to work through that. Um, for your summary, if you can get in there, your passion, your professional background, your current role, and a little bit about yourself with some rich media, um, I think that that is great. It doesn't have to be that long, you know, it can be much shorter, but um, this is our secret sauce on what goes in a, a summary. So current and past positions, um, if you can find ways to in bullet points demonstrate how you add value to an organization, not just the day-to-day -day of what you did there, um, and then uh, use keywords, because as Allison's gonna talk about, recruiters all day they're just searching keywords um to to find fits for for open positions um and then as i've said include rich media as you're able if you've ever done a, a webinar or any kind of you know something that that can be linked to that shows what you did that's even more powerful um and then show your trajectory you don't have to put every single thing that you've done on linkedin um, just something that can kind of show your arc um, is, is great. And ed education, um, in, it enhances your credibility. It helps build rapport. You can tap into your alumni connections. I get notes all the time from people, you know, saying we went to school at the same place, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, um, and then, and again, and obviously in, in um, you know, the military, all your military education is, is huge. Yeah, I was going to say that. And, and sometimes if you don't have the degree, not every job requires a degree. And I always say, like, put all the military, any of the certifications or anything you did um, in the military, if you're maybe getting a degree now or getting a certification or a business professional, anything, throw it in there. Um, but yeah. Work. Yes, clearances for sure, especially oh, yeah. if you're looking in the government sector and, and that's a keyword search too right there. Any, you know, the technical skills, fill in all that information. Um, so build strong relationships, connect with real contacts, connect with, um, connect with everyone you know. <laughs> um, it, you never know who's going to know somebody and that's primarily how, how I use it and I'll get to that in a second. But, um, you know, your neighbor, people you grew up with, um, and I always say, like, if it's somebody that you would feel comfortable reaching out to, to, um, you know, let's say that person knew somebody that you're trying to get in touch with, you know, if that's the level of, of connection, they should be in there. Um, 
and then engage with insight. Uh, so share valuable information um, that kind of presents you as a trusted source of insight. Um, engage with your network, um, share and like and comment on other people's posts, and then um, reach out to prospects. You know, connect with Allison and I, and if we.